that to be here you know our player Ryan Gomes went down with a calf injury but Ryan was a total professional this entire time, time. he stayed here. stayed talking and then Xavier more importantly Xavier Silas um, he's 32 years old he should be in the league as well and he's oh my bad I don't need two more years and he dressed like it too yeah, but, but the, he he sacrificed this year because he's a guy that should be playing and we're thankful for him to be humble enough to let us rock and let, let guys play and still support, and still support the entire time. He was our assistant coach. Really support, yes. Real support. And then, you know, I, I'm a friend with JYD. JYD has been a guy here who's been working us out. Uh, he's been one of the keys for, for the community and doing things for the big three. We're very thankful for JYD being able to do that. Um, and then Nancy, you know, it's, it's, it's amazing to see her. You know, as a woman coach, to be able to do this. And, and again, this, this, breaks, this breaks our genders, right? Yeah. Where, you know, a man is supposed to coach men, uh, but Nancy has done a phenomenal job, and, and I'm, I'm just really thankful. Uh, I really am proud for you guys, but I feel like, well, I'm just I'm really proud. thankful. One more, one more thing, we gotta, you gotta shout out Jocelyn. Team wait, 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 He almost couldn't play the last two weeks. This lady right here is yes. single handedly responsible for all of us being out there. For a fact. So thankful. Like literally, two weeks ago, she was in Amsterdam because she, she works with a ton of people all over the world. And she took the time to fly back out here to be with our team. That's my dog. We just really thankful. Yay, I mean, from, from Corey McGetty's hamstrings to Big Baby's calf to my pulled groin to Q, I mean, we just, uh, 
the walking wounded, and Jocelyn just stuck with us. And I mean, she's an she's an angel. She's an angel. She in the ring too. She in the ring. What did you say? What did you say? What did you say? What did you say? Jocelyn. Put your take it easy. Hey fellas, okay, let me let me just start because these guys are really amazing. When I had the opportunity to be the coach of this team, I was blessed beyond recognition. And I have coached in the WNBA, I've coached in the NBA, in the NBA D League, and we have a cup reporter here named Baby. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, I get a lot of credit from my, my guys because they're kind and they're very loving. But let me tell you what, I'm going to go down the line and Corey Maggette, there's a reason why this man is the MVP. I have never seen anybody have such a professional routine in how he takes care of his body. The same with Katino Mobley. These guys, you know, they mentioned they've been friends for over 20 years. This, I believe, is the first championship they have won together. And this team is about friendships. It's about growth. It's about caring about one another. We talked about, you know, Corey knowing a Q since he was five or six, fifth grade. Fifth grade. Fifth grade. Fifth grade. And then so many people have had a part in our success. You know, Birdman was our top draft pick. And we were sitting there at the draft, and I was with Catino and Corey, and they were locked in. They had already, you know, scoped out and knew how important Chris Anderson would be to us uh, as a player, as a professional, as a winner who has a ring with the Miami Heat. I mean, he's signing with the NBA team. He needs to be on Some an NBA way. team. For, for a fact. Some way. So everybody has a part, you know, it's not just about the coach, it's about the coach allowing the players to have input. This is a, this is a player's league. And you have to allow your players to express themselves. You know, when, when Q got injured, you know, Ryan stepped in. When Ryan got injured, Xavier stepped in. And I will say this, um, one of the, the, the hardest things in this league is to tell somebody that they're not activated for a game. I actually, you know, I, I played this game. And to be able to say that to somebody, it, it's really a struggle for me. I'm not supposed to say that as a coach. But it was a struggle for me every week not to, to tell X that he wasn't going to play. And the same thing with Ryan. And they took the pressure off of me because they were willing to put the team ahead of themselves. And then I want to I want to go back to Big Baby. This guy I have watched him. I have called his games on Big TV. Hawk. This Big is a, a young man that can be in the NBA in yeah. a year. He could be there. He's so talented. He's got he, you know he jokes around a lot. This guy's defensive presence, his IQ, how to play this game, is off the charts. Nobody got a bigger heart. Nobody got a big heart. Stick with me. Yes. And, and then, you know, Catino is, has a willingness to, to give up glory, although he had the game winning shot, because he, want, you know, he wants to be a great teammate to all of his teammates. And he's willing to sacrifice his individual numbers because he has been playing and wanting to win a championship. So when you have Drone. You know, he's doing clinics for the young three, he's the president of that, he's helping in community with children, and then he's here helping players, and Ryan, and, and barking like, my puppies do not do anything like him. I mean, this is a family. We love each other, and we care about each other, and it's your turn. You know, um, I'm just very happy to to be in the presence of all, you know, this, this group. Uh, last year, you know, it was, it was a tough situation, uh, getting injured and banged up and finishing, you know, one or two possessions away from the finals. Uh, I told Corey McGetty, I said, you know, as long as I got you, I, I, I'm cool, we're going to the championship. And am I lying, Corey, did I not say that? I said that, I said, as long as I got you, I'm okay. 
I said, and then listen, when we got Birdman, and then they told us Baby was a captain, and we picked Q, and we got X and Ryan, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> to me, I, I, there was no, yeah, we had some some tight games, but that's just how, that's how it is. Sometimes you build people out, sometimes you win by a buzzer beater, it's what it is, but the point is you win. And, um, you know, I'm not trying to be cocky, but when I came to the Clippers, and I think in 05, there was a reporter who said to me, I looked at the roster first, and I was talking to Sam Cassell, and I was in Spain, and I was like, you know what, Sam, I'm gonna go to the Clippers, I'm gonna challenge myself more. You know what I'm saying? I said, I like their group. They got Corey Maggetti, who averaged 20 in his sleep. They have Elton Brand, who's 20 and 10 in his sleep. I think if me and you go there, bro, I'm telling you, we go to the playoffs. They haven't been to the playoffs in 14 years. So, I mean, it was a laughing, they laughed, basically. So the reporter's like, why are you so, co why are you so cocky and confident? I said, that's what you call me cocky. I'm confident because I've been practicing my whole life. I understand. So I know if I sacrifice, I will be able to help these guys reach something they didn't reach, playoffs, have getting a taste of something. And we went to the playoffs then. So, I mean, I'm not saying, I'm not saying it's me, but I said, I just want to be a part of something big. I've always been like that. I think I'm a selfless person. And I got selfless guys with me, and that's the reason why we won, because Q gives up his, his body, Baby gives up his body, X, Bird, Ryan, Jerome, I mean, Corey's just battling all types of injuries, and he's still going out there being an MVP that he is, you know, I mean, it's just, Coach is amazing, you know, she, she, she listen, she, our, our, when, we, when we, we drafted people, we drafted our character, we were all dogs, we were ready to fight, we're ready to fight, and we're not playing. This ain't no commercial, okay? We're for real. We're for real. We want every smoke you got, we want. So that's just what it is. And it's all respect. We will respect you like men, you respect us. You know what I'm saying? Like human beings, we respect you. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm just happy that we came out with this victory the way we did. We are fighting and fighting and fighting to get to the finals. Because I told Gordon, like I said before, I got you, bro. And I'm okay. I'm okay. And it ended up the way I wanted to, to be uh, 2018 Big Three champs. First of all, that's a, it's, I know you don't mean it that way, but that's a disrespectful question for the best coach. You know I'm saying. I know, that's why I know you don't mean it that way, but I just want to put that message out there. She's unbelievable. I played for some of the, I know Larry Brown, Stan Van Gundy, I played for some great coaches. She right there. Big she as good as anybody. Play first goal. day she came in, first day, from the start, she said, we are going to take this serious and we are going to compete and win. And she took it that way every single day. When we had everybody, you know, they had 30 minute practices or whatever. Some guys didn't show up for practice. Some teams just shot jumpers or whatever. Every single game, every single practice, we went over stuff. If we played Friday, if this was a regular week, tomorrow by Saturday morning, by the time I got on the plane and landed in the city, we would have a film, we would have exit, we would have everything. Am I lying, Katino? If we get off the plane, she's already hit us with the email with everybody in there, and we got plays, we know the tendencies of the next team, we know who scored the most, what they do, everything. I mean, she was unbelievable, she was detailed, she was into it, and she was on top of it. I, I played for some great coaches, and she is right there with whoever you want to name. Top dog. I got all the rest of the time. She is, she is dope. Not only that, not only that, all of our families to a man, every one of us that got kids, they love her. My daughter went to the store and got candy, her favorite candy, I bring her candy. Every single one of us, our kids love her. That's why we were a great team because we were a family. And that started right here with Coach. And let me tell you something, Q. When Nancy's name was suggested, Ice Cube and Jeff Quantnitz and Clyde Drexler. It was a moment for me in my life because no one gave a damn about her gender. Mm -hmm. And you let me tell you something else. Neither does Nancy and neither do I. There you go. And, 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 and team, team Power is the lucky one. We're the blessed ones for what she just said. We received the blessing that they chose her because we were blessed to have her. Because she's not a woman coach. Power. 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 Power.
Yo. Yeah, talk to him, baby. Big Baby, we, we got to talk about that post. That was Shaq S. Gordon <laughs> just told me yesterday that he was 0-3 in the finals and uh, state championship final four and NBA finals. He thought yeah. he had time to be in the tournament. Yeah, you know, it's tough playing power, man. You know, and so, uh, you know, we played a great game, man. I love Drew Good, though. I love Drew Good, but I wanted to say I was dealing with depression before I accepted the contract that you got. Mentally. Because when I left the game, I left the game in a different phase. And you guys brought that back to me. I, uh, I've been going through a lot of crazy things lately that is just not who I am. Q, Clyde, they stood by me. They knew who I was as a person. And this team stood by me. In spite of what everybody said out there or what they think or what they might see. And I thank you guys for that. We're family, bro, you know. And so it's been a long journey. You know, this has been crazy for me. And this big three organization, the camaraderie, the people, the love, it's a great thing, and I promote this lead. As long as I can play a damn basketball game, I will be in the big three, for sure. putting everything together and being able to have the opportunity to be drafted by Team Power, um, even though nobody really knew what I was doing because I don't do social media. <laughs> but um, um, you know it. but no, it's, it's just been a, a, an impressive uh, thing that what these guys have put together as far as the camaraderie with everybody, the team, the guys, you know, team dinners, uh, Nancy Lieberman. Now, of course you can you know, coach a uh, different gender or a bunch of you know men. She's a mother. I mean, she had a she had a son, and she had a son that turned into a man. So why can't she be one of the, the ones to coach a man? You know? She know what the hell she's doing. She know this game. And she obviously <clears throat> has accomplished that. So you know, just being a part of it, team power, in this championship, and the big three. It's been great, and I just want to say thank you to everybody. You know, appreciate it. Big heart. Big heart. Can, we, can we just close? Um, and I, I think that we've all echoed this. We'd like to thank uh, Ice Cube. We'd big like time. to thank Jeff. We'd like to thank Amy for you know creating this league. Each of us come from a different path and a different journey, but it brought us together. And together, we have the ability to change the world. We, we are the agent of change, matter of fact. And without this opportunity, we can't do what we do together. And we know we look different, and we know we are different, but our hearts and our minds, we love each other, we care about each other, and we give up for one another. We, we are going to be friends for life. I love their children. So to the big three, Thank you for giving us the opportunity to play, and then to this team, thank you for what you did to become a champion. Every man that and woman, including Jocelyn, uh, we're so grateful to you for just dedicating yourselves. You could be doing a lot of other things, uh, but you know, I, you keep giving me a lot of credit, but Clyde Drexler was the coach of this team a year ago, and the cupboards were full. So it's not like I started from scratch. I had some great men to coach, and we built on that. So, Clyde, I don't know if you're here. Yes, you're Clyde. Right. Yes. Clyde. Yes. Clyde. I just like to say, as far as Cube go, man, I was 
amazingly impressed. I didn't play last year in the league, but coming here this year and being a part of it, just seeing how he was on the ground floor, pushing, performing, being at, you know, early in the week, being at every station, TV station, going out to the young three, doing things with the kids. Cube was unbelievable. And Cube was full, full, full all the way in, more than I ever thought he would be performing, being in the community, doing things. I did events with him in Chicago, and um, I take my hat all the way off to Cube. Cube is a great place to put it exactly. And just the way that he's handled it, the way he's committed and put it into it, I take my hat all the way off. He's been unbelievable, because I didn't think that he would, you know, I didn't know anything, but I didn't think he would be all the way in. Him, his wife, his family, he's been, they've been here all 10 weeks, and they've been 10 feet down, 10 toes down, all the way in. And, and pushing this thing. So, I mean, Q, major salute, and everybody that you, I know he go hard bringing celebrities out to come, and um, just thank you to Q for creating this for the guys because we really appreciate it. I haven't, since high school, I haven't won a championship. So this, for me, this is this is huge. And I'm gonna savor it and lift it up like this is a ring. I'm gonna have an NBA ring, I'm gonna have that. For us, for us players, we take this so serious. Like we are, I've never stopped thinking that I was a winner. I won in college, I mean I won in high school, and this is my first championship eight, 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 since then. No, no, we won, we, me and Corey won 15 in other nationals, AU, we kicked everybody but two. And we won a national, I haven't won championships since high school. I won state, national, but this is, this means something. Don't ever think that the, the people that play in the big three don't take this seriously and it don't mean anything. We take it seriously, all of us as players, and it means something. It really does. This is a league that ain't going nowhere and we all take it seriously. Everybody cares, everybody works hard to be ready to play and this is here to stay and we all, everybody is taking care of themselves to, to really come out and be their best and put a good product out there. Hey, thank you so much, Pow. Hey, yo, Sway. Ah! It's your boy, Big Baby. Yeah. show because I can go. Freestyle King, you didn't know. I represent the boot head to toe. Watch your girl. I'm about to get her. <laughs>